And joining me now is a longtime China bull. We're going to be discussing everything markets, commodities, and economy. It's legendary investor Jim Rogers and best-selling author of several books, including his most recently published Street Smarts, Adventures on the Road and in the Markets, which is also being published in Mandarin. Isn't that right, Jim? In two weeks. Two in weeks' two time. Weeks it's being released in Beijing, so see you there. Okay, well, we have got a lot to cover. Let's start off with the markets. Another big day. One of your contemporaries, David Tepper, saying that he thinks this rally has got a lot of room to run. Agree or disagree? Well, as long as Mr. Bernanke and other central banks around the world are continuing to print money, who knows how high they can go? It's going to end very, very badly for us because you now have, for the first time in recorded history, every major central bank printing a lot of money. This is not going to be fun when it ends. Well, you say printing money is the one thing that Ben Bernanke knows how to do. The only thing that you say Ben Bernanke knows how to do in your book. So what should the Fed be doing then? Well, debasing your currency is fun for the people who get the money in the short term. But in the long term, in the medium term, it has never helped to raise inflation, raise interest rates, cause to currency turmoil. What they should be doing is letting the economy take its own course, let people who fail fail, let people who succeed succeed, but not propping up failure. Ah, spoken like a true capitalist. Now, one of the questions that has been lingering over the markets this week is a report by the Wall Street Journal that the Fed may finally start tapering back QE3 quantitative easing its stimulus program. Too little too late, in your opinion? Well, the stock market doesn't think that that's correct because, you know, you can see that the, the money supply keeps going through the roof. If you, if the numbers are published every week, you can check it. Maybe that's just they're floating a, a balloon, but it's not happening yet. So you're thinking in the long run we're heading for an equity crash is what you're telling me. Well, yeah, but it could be from a much higher level. Don't get me wrong. As I said, you now have all the major, Japan, China, uh, Japan, Europe, England, America, all printing a lot of money. So while they're all, you know, the Japanese said they would print unlimited amounts of money. That's their word. As right. long as unlimited amounts of money are being floated into the world system, it's got to go somewhere. Timing is everything. What's your time horizon for the soul to go boom? Uh, who knows, you know, it could last another year or two or three, as long as Mr. Bernanke and the rest of them continue this madness. Now, in your book, Street Smarts, you're still thinking that the commodity bull market has some room to go. No, well, I certainly do. And normally when you have a lot of money, it goes into real assets, whether it's silver or rice or whatever it happens to be. At the moment, it's going into shares. People are much more excited about shares than they are about real assets. Well, gold's had uh, quite a tough time of it lately. It is up over the recent month, but it's down over 8% over the year. Is this the time to step in and buy gold? Well, I'm not. I own gold. I haven't sold any gold. Gold was overdue for a correction. It had been going up 12 years in a row, which is extremely unusual. So this is the long overdue and good correction as far as I'm concerned. But if it goes down some more, I hope I'm smart enough to buy more gold. What level are you buying gold at? I wish I were that smart. You should watch CCTV. You know, We're you watching. Get, Tell us, what level are answers. you watching gold at? Get are you all, buying gold at? You're much smarter people than me. I don't know. You know, if it goes to 1200 I'd buy more. If it goes to 1100 who knows where it's going to go? Okay, so twelve or $1,100, you are buying gold. What else are you buying, Jimmy Rogers? Well, I'm looking at Russia at the moment to maybe buy shares in Russia. I've been bearish on Russia for many decades. Uh, now I'm getting optimistic about Russia. It's hard to find things that are cheap and haven't already moved a lot these days. One thing that you're interestingly optimistic about is Myanmar and North Korea. You say those, yeah. if, how do we invest in Myanmar? Well, they're starting a stock market. There are a couple of shares that trade there now. There are very few. The stock market won't open until 2015, so we're in trouble. Uh, we have to wait. And North Korea, North Korea does not have a stock market. You have to find but you say if you could invest in North oh, Korea, yeah, you I would? I could, I would. Of course I would. I do wonder. I, I, the only way I know to invest there is to buy stamps or, or gold and silver coins. I don't know any way. There's no market. Why North Korea, especially with all the tensions in my, happening? You know, the tensions, that's American propaganda. No, the, the tensions are, are going to be relaxed. Within a few years, you'll see North and South Korea merge. Now, you said... In your book and in several other books, if you were smart in the 19th century, you go to London. If you were smart in the 20th century, you went to New York. And if you were smart in the 21st century, you went to China. Okay, we're kind of in the 21st century. You still so solid on China? Where should we be going? Well, I, I moved to Asia. My children speak Mandarin. Both of my children speak native Mandarin. So we're there. We're living, we live in Asia, and my children are learning 
Mandarin and learning Asia. Are you concerned about the recent slowdown in the Chinese economy? No, no, no. Slowdowns are normal. You know, in the, in the 19th century, America had 15 depressions with a D. We had no human rights. We had very little rule of law. And yet we became the most successful country in the 20th century. Sure, China will have problems, but that's the way the world works. Nothing to worry about. Okay, we're running out of time. In your book, you give some tips on investing. The single most important tip you can give. Have children and become a farmer. Have children and become a farmer. Get yes. off the grid. Wow, that's some advice. Jimmy Rogers, what a Thank pleasure. You. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Jim Rogers, legendary investor and author of Street Smarts, Adventures on the Road and in the Market, which is being published in Beijing in two weeks' time.